he dragged and lifted and hauled that cross. And don't you black people ever forget one thing. The man that helped Jesus carry that cross was a black man. And don't ever forget another thing. Jesus belongs to Africa as much as he does to Europe and Asia. He was born in that part of the world that touches Africa and Asia and Europe. Greetings in the blessed holy name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. What you just watched was a clip from a 1975 sermon by Billy Graham. And in this sermon, uh, this clip that you just watched, he makes the statement that Simon of Cyrene, the man that helped Jesus carry the cross up to his crucifixion, was a black man. Now, this is a common misconception, and that's why I wanted to make a video about it. Um, he preached this sermon in 1975, and there was some uh, challenge to this statement. And here is one article that I found that was republished a bunch in 1975 that I thought was noteworthy. And uh, it, this clip that you're looking at here was published in the Miami Herald, April 11th, 1975. And somebody had sent in a question uh, challenging him to what this statement was. And it says here, the question, On one of your telecasts, you stated that Simon of Cyrene was a black man. This came as a shock to me because I always pictured the man who was recruited to help Jesus carry the cross as a white person. Would you please give me your source for this statement? And then Billy Graham goes on to give his source, or so we think. It says here, quote, Actually, the Bible does not state that Simon of Cyrene was a black man. But there are two reasons why many biblical students believe Simon was of the black race. First, he was from Cyrene, and Cyrene was in Libya in North Africa, a country at that time largely populated by black people. Second, Simon was obviously a slave. The Bible says they found a man of Cyrene, Simon, by name, him, they compelled to bear his cross, Matthew 27, 32. Only slaves could be compelled by the authorities to perform any mental duty. It is estimated that half the people in the Roman Empire were slaves. In fact, many Christians were slaves. But the fact that Simon was from Cyrene, an African city, and that he was a slave and a large portion of the Roman slaves were black, leads us to believe Simon was a black man. Personally, I would like to believe Simon was black. The black people have historically responded to Jesus Christ. More than 50% of Africa today is Christian, and many of our black Americans are devout followers of Jesus Christ. End quote. So in response to this man's statement in his sermon, he clearly says the Bible does not state that Simon of Cyrene was a black man. And I agree with him. The Bible does not state that. But he clearly stated that in his sermon. Uh, he goes on to say the two reasons why many biblical students believe Simon was a black man or the black race was he was from Cyrene, which was located in North Africa and Libya. And the second reason is he believes he was a slave, uh, both which are assumptions, very bad ones. Now, Cyrene, the city of Cyrene, was in North Africa. It was about uh, north, it was the north coast of what is now modern-day Libya. And Cyrene was a Greek. It was a Greek city. Uh, along the Mediterranean and the coastline, the islands were all colonized by Greek people. And the civilization of Cyrene in North Africa were Greek civilizations. This is well documented. Uh, they were not black African civilizations whatsoever. And uh, this is clearly understood in history. But before we move on on that topic, let's read the passages in question that talk about Simon of Cyrene. The very first one is going to be in Matthew chapter 27, and we're going to begin reading in verse 29. And it says here, And when they had platted a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head, and a reed in his right hand, and they bowed the knee before him, and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews, or the Judeans. 
And they spit upon him, and took the reed, and smote him on the head. And after that they had mocked him, and they took the robe off of him, and put his own raiment on him, and led him away to be crucified. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon, by name, him they compelled to bear his cross. Now I want to stop right there. And let's go to Mark chapter 15. And this man is mentioned again, Mark chapter 15, verse 20, and it says here, And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple from him, and put his own clothes on him, and led him out to be crucified. And they compelled one Simon, uh, a Cyrenian, who passed by, coming out of the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to bear his cross. Now, it should be noted in here that the name Simon is the Greek version of the Hebrew Simeon. And Alexander and Rufus, both of those names are Greek names, not African names, they are Greek names. And it's most likely that these men were there at the time, there in Jerusalem, for the Feast of Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. They would have been racial kinsmen to the Israelites, because it was unlawful for unracial kinsmen to partake of the feast and the Passover. You could not be a racial stranger to partake of the Passover. For those that are wondering what I'm talking about there, I would recommend my uh, message I did on uh, the st word stranger in the Bible, titled Stranger Danger, for a little bit more information on how stranger is used in the Bible. There's many different words in the Hebrew and the Greek where that word is used, and they all mean different things. But if we read in the book of Acts, chapter 2, uh, at the Feast of Pentecost, we read about Judeans from Cyrene being there in that area for the feast. So obviously there was uh, Israelites and Judeans there participating in that feast. You can also read in Acts chapter 6, verse 9, where there was men from Cyrene in the synagogues, per participating in the synagogues. If uh, there was Africans there, they would not have been allowed to participate in the synagogues. They would have had to have been Israelites or Judeans of the same kindred stock. Andrew Robert Fawcett, in his uh, 1882 Bible Dictionary, wrote this concerning Cyrene that I thought was interesting and noteworthy. It says this, quote, The chief city of the Cyrenians or of the Libyan in North Africa between Egypt and Carthage, across the Sea of Crete and the Greek Polynesia, a Doreen Greek colony reigned by Battus and his family 630 BC, afterwards joined to its eastern neighbor Egypt, a tableland describing by terraces to the sea. Famed for luxurious vegetation and grandeur of its hills, for its intellectual activity in philosophy and poetry, and for its commerce. The Judeans, in large number, were settled there and had a synagogue at Jerusalem, some of whose members took part against Stephen. Acts 6 9. Others who were hearers of Peter and witnesses of the Spirit's miraculous infusion on Pentecost. Acts 2 10. Being converted and subsequently scattered at the persecution of Stephen, they preached to the Greeks at Antioch, at which time and place believers were first called Christians, Acts 11, 19-20. Simon, who bore Jesus' cross, was of Cyrene, Luke 23:26. Among the prophets and the teachers at Antioch who ministered to the Lord was Lucius of Cyrene, Acts 13:1 whom some identify with Luke, the evangelist and physician. Certainly it is from Luke alone that we hear so much of Cyrene. Cyrene was a great center from which the gospel afterwards went forth, raising the famous North African churches. End quote. Now, as you can see from this quote, and just common sense, that the land of Cyrene, or the city of Cyrene, just because a person was from Cyrene does not mean that they were necessarily of a certain race. This would be like saying that a white man from New Orleans is definitely a black man if you write about him in literature. 
or from Detroit. If a person from Detroit, you write about him and say he's from Detroit, he must be a black man. This is nonsense. Nobody thinks like this in modern times. But you remove yourself several thousand years from the equation and not understanding that regions change, you will come to this conclusion. Today, Cyrene is very dark-skinned. But that doesn't mean that it's been that way for the last 2,000 years. History tells us otherwise. The northern African cities were Greek colonies. Greek colonies, Roman colonies, and Phoenician colonies, they were ruled and managed by those people. And it would just make sense that this man, Simon of Cyrene, who was in Jerusalem for a feast day, was of the same racial and religious stock that was participating at the, the feast. You have to understand that uh, Hebrewism, uh, true Hebrewism, the people that were attending feast in, in that time there, they were not a, they were not an evangelic type um religion or uh, belief. They did not go and gather all these different types of people from different regions and, and sects to bring in. It was an Israelite religion. Now, yes, there was some people that had intermingled in there, but we're talking about people traveling from North Africa, Cyrene, up to a feast day. This would have definitely been a Judean or someone of Israelite stock. Then Billy Graham goes on to state that almost all the slaves in the Roman civilization were black, uh, or a large portion of Roman slaves were black. Uh, this is also not true. The Romans, in fact, they enslaved all types of people. Uh, <laughs> there is no evidence that a large portion of the Roman slaves were all black. I'm not sure where he gets that uh, knowledge from. Also, this word compelled has nothing to do with slavery. Uh, it was Roman law that the Romans could compel a Judean or a Samaritan or an Israelite to carry the, uh, their load, in this case the cross for Jesus, up to a mile. If you read in Matthew chapter 5, verse 41, we see Jesus saying, Whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him too. And that's what he was speaking about, is that practice of the Romans employing and compelling Judeans to carry their load for them. Uh, and it was against Roman law to carry it more than one mile, or to have them carry it more than one mile. Then Mr. Graham goes on to say, personally, I would like to believe Simon was black. He's not stating facts. He's not stating scriptural or historical evidence. He's just saying, personally, I would like to believe Simon was black. The black people have historically responded to Jesus Christ. More than 50% of Africa today is Christian. Now, if you look up that question... According to Wikipedia of all places, it says that the uh, continent of Africa is about 45% Christian today, and uh, this figure was taken in 20, uh, 2002. Whether that's true or not, I have no idea. Those, for, those numbers that you hear nowadays are so embellished because of Catholicism, you can hardly believe anything they're saying. Um, Mr. Graham also makes it sound like that the entire continent of Africa is only inhabited by black people. And this is not true. There are lots of white people in South Africa and other areas down there. Not just small pockets, but large populations of white people. In fact, this is an interesting chart here, a map, that shows how the Muslim population is mainly in the darker parts of Africa. Uh, the northern parts of Africa, uh, and we can see that there's less Muslim activity in the southern parts of Africa. So if Christianity makes up 45% of Africa and then Muslims make up 45% of Africa, it appears that the larger Muslim population are in the darker parts of Africa by this graph. Like I said, you can make these numbers say whatever you want, but it, it's out there for everybody to see. In Africa today, uh, it is not a beacon, beacon of Christianity. Uh, it's just not. Um, they can make those numbers say whatever they want, 
but regardless, um, that's what he's saying. Um, it also says that it's 45% uh, Muslim as well. So regardless of what, what it is, this is what he's saying. This is the proof that he's saying for why he believes Simon of Cyrene was a black man. This has nothing to do with anything against black people at all, but historically, the people of Cyrene were not an all-black culture. They were a Greek, Phoenician, Roman culture, and those would have been Caucasian people. Not a large portion of the Roman slaves were black. That's also an assumption by Billy Graham, as well as his terminology for the word compelled, meaning that that person was a slave. That is also incorrect. And he clearly states at the beginning of this response to his sermon that the Bible does not state that Simon of Cyrene was a black man. And then at the end of the, the response, he clearly says, personally, I would like to believe Simon was a black man. And then he goes on to say, because the black people have historically responded to Jesus Christ. Now, not speaking about black people in Christianity, it's actually the white people of Europe that have historically responded to Christianity and Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ went northwest to Europe immediately after the crucifixion of Jesus. The gospel did not go into the deep, dark parts of Africa. It did not go to Asia. It went to Europe, and it flourished there with those Israelite people. Now, you may not know what I'm talking about with the Israelite people in Europe, and I recommend you to watch my video, Anglo-Israel in a Nutshell, for more on that. Uh, it's a very important history. But no, the historically, it has been white people that have taken the gospel to the world and have uh, historically responded to Jesus Christ in Christianity. And that was all for a purpose and a reason. And in fact, Christianity was known and historically was a white, white man's religion up until very recently when other races started latching on to Christianity. Uh, it stayed in Europe for almost 2,000 years. So I personally, from the research and history, I think Billy Graham is absolutely wrong. And I could go into much more detail into why, but I think this will suffice for now. I do want to share one article that I found in a newspaper uh, from the Elba Clipper from 1954 by a Reverend J.E. Plant. And I want to read this article here just to give you an idea uh, of people believing the same thing that I just posed not that long ago. And this is in 1954, and it says here in the article, quote, Reverend J.E. Plant quotes the scripture in proving Simon of Cyrene was a white man, notwithstanding the fact that the Prince of Peace exhibited shown in Elba recently pictured him as a black man. Reverend Plant says, After making quite a diligent search, I am convinced that Simon of Cyrene was a Hellenistic Jew or Judean who was born at Cyrene on the north coast of Africa. He was present at the time of the crucifixion of Jesus, either as an attendant at the feast, Acts chapter 2, verse 10, or as one of the numerous settlers at Jerusalem from that place, Acts 6, 9, A.D. 30. As he returned from the country, he met the procession that conducted Jesus to Golgotha and was pressed into service of bearing the cross. Matthew chapter 27, 32, Mark 15, 21, Luke 23, 26, when Jesus himself was unable to carry it any longer. John chapter 19, verse 17. Mark describes him as the father of Alexander and Rufus. Known to the Roman Christians, Rome, a Roman 6.13, for whom he was especially wrote. Since the Jews, or Judeans, are white people, Simon could not have been a colored man. Hellenistic Judeans, or Jews, are Greek-speaking. End quote. Now, of course, he's speaking of Judeans at that moment in time. 
uh, not historically in modern times when he wrote this. But what he is saying here is absolutely true. He's saying that historically and biblically, um, Simon of Cyrene was probably visiting the area for a feast, or he was possibly even a settler. And in the book of Romans, um, his two sons are mentioned, and they are both Greek people. Um, those are Greek names, and they were living in Rome at the time. So anyway, I hope that this short Bible study concerning the man of Simon of Cyrene and the area of Cyrene is a blessing to you, and that you can take what I have stated here and go do your own research and find out for yourself if what I am saying is so. So until next time, thank you for listening to Christian American Ministries.